Hello everyone, welcome to Suspect Tutorials. Today I will be taking you guys through animations in PowerPoint. By definition, an animation is a special visual effect that is added to a text or an object on a slide. We shall see how to do about that when we open our MS PowerPoint 2019. For those ones who are using 2016, it's still okay. So let us open. I'm going to open my PowerPoint. That is always the default slide, the default theme. So let me just get the blank presentation and I give it the title as animations in PowerPoint. Just increase that. Let me do like some little adjustments here. And this is where we shall put our definition. So this is the definition of an animation, guys. A special visual effect that is added to a text or an object on a slide. An object might be an image different of different size. And I'm about to show you how to apply this special visual effect so let me increase the slides let me just go to slide number two and it and i talk about the usage let me talk about the usage of animation where it is normally used it is used on let me talk about uh, is used on text and uh, also object object is a general term let me just use image it cannot be used on an image you can use an animation on an image and text instead of me using the normal way let us use uh, a smart art let me insert a smart art And I go for list. Let me just go for list. Close that. Then let me edit. And click on that arrow. And I type. It is normally used on text. Then a subtitle for text. Then it is subtitle. And then it is used on images. I can do some adjustments here. I'll just close this and I re I resize this smart art. Let me just resize the smart art. Decide to change the design. We use that. So this is where we normally use uh, an animation. We have not yet used it yet. So now I'm still explaining uh, what an animation is. A special visual effect that is added a text or an object on a slide so right now here on this slide this th this one is an object applying smart art is an object but if it is just a plain text then we can we can just type text and then image now this one this one is a text we have just typed image and here we have typed text so we are going to apply animations on on text and objects this one is an object and we are also going to insert images animation on text 
me receive my call and I get back to you. So when I talk about animations on text, we use animations. Even this one right now, this one is a text story. Okay? This, this this title, this is text. And then this paragraph is also text. So let us add some images, some objects. We go to insert and click on pictures. Let me go with this. I'll resize this image. Let me insert another one. Just go back to insert and go to pictures. Let me go with that. I'll resize it. So this is my first slide and I'm going to apply an animation on the title. I just go to animations. Let me say I want my title to be bouncing. I just go to bounce. That is already an animation. One thing you have to know about animations is that they don't apply for a slide. They just apply on the content that is in the slide. That means they can just apply on the titles, on the paragraphs, and even on images. That's why we shall shall apply animations on images and then on text they don't apply but slide they don't apply on a slide so now i have shown you how to use a bouncing animation that special uh, visual effect i have to term it is special because you can see if you click on preview and then you click on re uh, preview you can see the way it comes it is really special Let me add some images here because we want to apply uh, animations on both text and images or objects. Just go to insert and click on picture. Insert this pic for PowerPoint 2019. I resize it. I do continuous resizing because I don't want them to be too big. Then I go for a second pick. I go to this device and I choose, let me choose this picture. And I do the resizing as well. So in, in the second slide, we have two images. By the way, in the whole of the second slide, we have text and object. These are objects. This one, if you see here, images. These are objects, and then this one is text. So let us apply a different animation on the title of the second slide. We just go to animations, and then let me go for wheel. Wheel is not nice animation to me. I'll go and click on grow and turn. That one is okay. Let us apply uh, animations on images and text, and we shall do that for the for the third slide. So let us first apply animation on this text. I just highlight. I'm already on animation stuff, so I go to add animation. I want to add an animation of of grow and turn. That one. And then let me also apply the same animation on this image. I want it in a way that when this animation is taking effect on text, then it has to also take effect on image. That means in your presentation, the, the wording will be coming and then 
explain let me say by an image so let us apply the same animation on that image just go to add animation and click on grow and turn so you cannot see when you click on animation pen it will show you this dialog box so in, in order for us to to get the same effect when this word is coming uh, during presentation with its image then you have to come here on the picture click on that arrow and you click on start with previous click on that let's apply also on image i just highlight it and then i say add animation this time i'm going to pick swivel so i want that type of animation on image and the same animation also on this picture i just click on add animation and i go for i go for swivel then i want them to be coming together so i have to click on this arrow and click on start with previous so now let us preview the slide 3 just click on it click on preview you, you can now see as the text appears it comes with its image the image text appears it also comes with that animation on this picture let me repeat as you can see this is really so up and it can make your presentation a colorful one when you are presenting somewhere or when you have been given an assignment to do a presentation on a certain meeting so this is the best way you can use animations actually it is not good to to overuse uh, different styles of animations because they will make your work look uh, redundant and too much of something is not good that's why you have to be uniform uniformity is very important in this powerpoint because if you are if you are not uniform sometimes the audience can lose uh, track so you really need to be uniform and systematic so let me let me do something on slide number four let me talk about usage two They are used on videos and audio as well. Let me say you have you have an audio that is playing in your presentation. You can also use an animation on it. You can also use them on flyers and banners. So here let us insert more two images click on this device let me go with this this time let me just go with that picture of powerpoint i do the resizing we get another image i have not used this pic the photo slideshow. I just do the resizing. So now I want to apply an animation on on videos, and then the same animation on this image of PowerPoint. Then I want to apply another animation on audios, and then the same animation on this image. That means videos will first be coming followed by the same animation that i will apply on this image the same thing to audios with its the same animation on this image the remaining two i won't apply any animations 
because the concept if you get this concept for this two and also on this then you can also be able to do on flyers and banners then you can add more images of your choice so what do you need to do here you have to just go back and click on animations you click on animations and then you highlight what you want to animate let me say we are animating videos I highlight that and then I add animation this time let me let me just put the fly in I will also use the flying animation on image fly in since I want to apply the same effect I have to come on this arrow and click start with previous now let me preview for that first one and you see the effect so you can now see text with its image so let us apply also on audios different animation let me use the bounce this time and let me also use the bounce on image I go for the bounce and then since I want them for uniformity I just click on this arrow and click on start with previous then I preview my changes So you can now see if you've gotten the concept for these two then you can add more two images or three or five depending on how you want your presentation to look and then you apply the same knowledge on flyers and banners with their respective images so this is the main concept that i wanted to show you guys under animations and if you are still new to this channel i do encourage you to subscribe click on the notifications bell and like and comment in case you have any difficulty let me know by commenting i'll get back to you through the comment section it's the only way i can help you guys those ones who might be behind or want to do some inquiry or they are not understanding somewhere so please comment and I will get back to you. So in the next tutorial, we shall look at we shall look at the preview of the design. This one is the is the is the easiest actually on all these apps. How you can just change the background of a slide, give it a different design. It's just a matter of you clicking on one of them, and there you have changed the background. So look at that and then I will also take you guys through slideshow. Let me say we have finished all our, our slides and then we want to make them slide automatically. So in the next tutorial that will be the main topic, uh, the slideshow. So for today we have completed uh, the use of animations and how they are important during presentation. See you next time. Bye for now.